Hello, today I'm going to uh, play around with Adobe Spark and see if we can create a presentation. Uh, presentation looks a little bit like a website. So um, once I log in with my Google credentials, I'm going to move over here to where it says uh, presentation. And I'll just show you some of the features that I found as I was looking around. Um, so first of all, it allows me to add a title. And as you can see, it's kind of a scrolling uh, function. So I'm just going to start here and, and we can change things. And this will just be like a really quick rough draft. So I'm just going to type in Greek newsletter and I can add a subtitle. Gosh, I wish I knew how to say welcome in Greek. I could probably look that up and just add it. Okay. And then now it's telling me that I can add a photo or some text or something called a glide show. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to click on glide show. And of course, I can go out on the web and find my own photos and upload them. So that allows me to upload photos. But what I like about Adobe Spark is that it gives me access to some photos that are free. And um, they're what they call Creative Commons licensed. And that means that they're free for me to use for education. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to worry about going somewhere else to look for photos. I can just put them in right here. So um, I know you have some specific stuff you're looking for, but I'm going to make mine look more like a just free kind of travel. Cool pictures here. Ooh, those are really cool. So I'm going to select a couple for my glide show, and you'll see what. A glide show is um, as we look through here and put it all together okay cool so I'll just do that and I'll say save and then um, you can see that it gives me a box where I can add text so this would be interesting for our newsletter and again um, look at what happens if I just start at the top this is what people will see when they enter I can add a photo here Right, I'll go back to that in just a second. And as I scroll down, I get my glide show. It's gliding through the images. And throughout the images, I can go ahead and add the text that I need to. So uh, maybe in this section, I'm going to add, gosh, I could add another photo, but I'm going to add text. It uh, looks like I could have added a video. Maybe I'll explain um, an event or something that's going on here. And throughout here, I can add even more. So it allows me to add another piece of text, another uh, photo, another video. So gosh, it looks like I can do a, a lot. So this could be the template. Just using this glide show can be a template for my newsletter. And it would look really cool. Um, here, I can add a photo. Again, I can search for um, something on my own out on the web. Um, or I can just choose these uh, free ones. What I want to show you too um, when we present is that it automatically gives credit for these photos. So I don't have to go back and do that. So that's kind of cool. All right, so maybe I'm done with the glide show and now I want to add maybe some different photos or some different text. I can say add text here. Um, I can, um, again, write what I want to about what I've learned about Greece. And throughout here, I can add another photo. Um, I can have a photo grid. I can split the layout and have my image on this side and then um, text on the other side. Oh, I have to include this cow right here. There we go. Um, so it gives me a lot of flexibility. And when I'm done, um, I have a website that I can um, scroll through and it looks like a pretty cool um, slick presentation. So let me show you if we previewed it what it would look like. And again I can go back and make edits but if I scroll up to the top I start and it says Greek uh, newsletter and then um, I'm scrolling down and it moves right into my glide show where I can add more text, more information. I can make this as complex as I want it to be, adding more text, captions, information. And then this is cool. This is, of course, the librarian's favorite part is at the very bottom. It gives me the photo credits right here. So if I bring in photos from um, outside on the internet, that means that I'm going to have to put where I found those credits 
um, embedded into the photo or the image. And here they've already done that for me. So that's kind of cool that they've taken care of that. So that's just a quick preview of a presentation I made in five minutes. Let's see what you guys can come up with.